it's Karen here, Kazina, and um, yeah, it's been a little while since I've made a, a video. Um, well, it is for me. I like to make them a bit more regularly, but um, gosh, without meaning to sound boring, work has kind of taken over. Do you know what? In the last two weeks, I think I've maybe had about three hours gaming like seriously about three hours gaming uh, <laughs> it's not funny um i i you know i'm doing these really long days not every day because i'd be dead but um uh, two or three times a week i do a really long day which is like 14 and a half hours um <laughs> and that's just a day that's not getting there and coming back um and i work really odd hours so like uh, i i haven't been in it's half 10 now and um I haven't been in very long, about 20 minutes or so, so I, I'm doing really odd hours, and it's, it's, and I'm up on it early tomorrow, it's just messing with my gaming, it's like, what's going on, um, so apart from a little flirtation with Persona 3 in the week, um, I've, I've really done very little gaming, so guys and girls, how do you manage with your you know, working, <laughs> working and gaming, especially when you have to work really unsociable and long hours. Not funny. Um, yeah, so that's about what, I, that's kind of what I've been up to and why I've not really made a, a video recently. Um, what else? This is just kind of a bit of a random waffle, really. Um, oh, yeah, read the uh zelda manual that i didn't get and i was promised i was going to get well i still haven't got i've been in twice since and um the second time i went in you know they, they keep saying oh we get it for you but they haven't um second time i went in i was um i was given a very nice lecture <laughs> i'm being sarcastic by the way i was given a, a lecture from from one of the guys that worked there who who told me that manuals are becoming a thing of the past and um you know nobody's interested in manuals anymore in any way when you get a manual it's only a few pages now isn't it it's not like manuals used to be and yeah I mean, he's got a point there and then he went into um this spe spill about how they whoever they are, I don't know who they are, I don't know if they were talking about CEX or what, but they have done a survey and uh, the survey says people don't want manuals. So all you gamers out there, have you done this survey <laughs> that they have done? Have you done this survey and do you want a manual? Because the survey says, according to CEX, that you don't want manuals. Manuals are a thing of the past, defunct, dead as a dodo done.com finished so <laughs> that's as far as i've got with the old manual debacle i i really haven't got any joy out of cex and um honestly once i i'm not going to let it go until they get me manual but once i've got my manual honestly i'm not going to darken their doorstep um after that they can bog off um so um yeah, so that's um, the manual thing. And what else is going on? Can't wait for Mass Effect 3 to come out, really. Honestly, my favourite game ever. Well, not Mass Effect 3, because I haven't played it, but, you know, Mass Effect 1 and 2. Um, can't wait for it to come out. Um, however, little slight problem. My Xbox, as you all know, Xbox 360 died last year. And I did have a lend of my cousins for a few months. I uh, took it back. Um, just before Christmas and so I've been been without so I think I'm gonna have to get a new second hand one new second there's something redundant in that sentence isn't there new second hand you know what I mean I, I, I'm gonna pick up um, a new one that's oh god it's still not sounding right is it I'm gonna pick up another Xbox 360 anyway um, I get paid at the end of this month um, so <laughs> thank God for that um, because you know Mass Effect 3 has to be bought and has to be played and um, I really would like the collector's edition really and um, but you know as it's, as it seems that you can't get it for love nor money at the moment and I'm really jealous because um, 
Jurassic Ju Junkie did a, a video saying that he's ordered it off um, a site in Ireland and he's it's wending its way to him now and um, you know I feel very bitter about this because I haven't got it but um, yeah I'd love it I'd love the collector's edition but if I can't get it I'm still going to buy Mass Effect 3 it's one of the few games that if I've got the money on that day I will buy it when it comes out and I never do that because I'm really tight like that I'm like no wait till it goes down I'm not paying tw you know I'm not paying 45 quid and then when it goes down I'm not paying 30 or 25 I'm real tight wedge you know I, I often wait till they go down to sort of 15 pounds or something like that um, you know anything more is like not paying that so I can't wait for Mass Effect 3 um, you little moggy boy has just come in um, and what else yeah apart from that general waffle I, I have managed to pick up a few games over the last couple of weeks or so nothing great and they didn't come out of CEX in Sutton either um, I, I got them all in um, my game station and um, nothing outstanding but I did get a few 49p jobs way at last properly um, the first one I picked up and of course by the way they're always PS2 aren't they when it comes to me they're PS2 uh, first one I got is Spy Hunter um, not sure why I bought this because it was 49p obviously but um, I, I have got this version on the GameCube and um, I wasn't mad about it you know I was really ramped up when I got it and I thought yes because I love Spy Hunter of old and it, it didn't really float my boat and this is uh, exactly the same but I bought it and it's 49p so Spy Hunter is now going to sit on my shelf and disappoint me um, I picked this one up um, as well called Freak Out I remember this game and I don't know if I used to own it or had a demo of it I really can't remember and I'm not 100% sure, correct me if I'm wrong, I thought I had this on the Dreamcast, Freak Out, and um, you know, it, this one unfortunately didn't come with a manual, <gasps> shock horror, uh, <laughs> but for 49p I, I can't go complaining, um, but uh, yeah, it's like this girl and she's got this really long arm sort of attached, I wonder if that's where the darkness got their idea, you know the darkness the game and the thing comes out of him you know well it's a bit like that with her except it's a bit more kiddified looking um it's a bit weird actually and um i think the manual would have helped me to play this um funny enough um but i was quite pleased to find it because it's not the sort of game you see knocking around in the wild as they say that often so freak out 49p um what else did i get for? yeah oh yeah I've got another wrestling game guys now this is my third one right because um, I said I don't play wrestling games and all that and I've been encouraged to try them and I've, I bought two and oh, they didn't really float my boat so I've got Smackdown vs Raw for 49p um, and I st it plays a bit better than the other two I picked up but I think now after this third attempt at trying a wrestling game I think I might have to I might have to admit defeat submit boom boom uh, sorry <laughs> I don't think I've had enough sleep um yeah I think I'm gonna have to stick with my first thing and and say wrestling games are not for me um good thing my nephew likes wrestling games um to be honest um so he can play it when he comes round um and he'll love it but um no wrestling games are definitely not for me um i picked a uh, second sight which ain't which isn't a bad game i think this came out the same sort of time as psych psych ops psych ops that came out wrong um and they both got the same sort of concept haven't they that you've got these kind of powers that you can lift things with your hands kinetic power or whatever um this doesn't play too bad I did play a little bit of this um, um, to try it out uh, the voice the voice acting is terrible in it it's really cheesy but the game itself plays alright um, so I don't think that was bad 49p 
and I also got a um, ice skating game. Ice skating? Ice skating? That doesn't sound <laughs> Ice hockey! Oh, damn fool. Honestly. Um, I got an... Uh, I'm so English. I got an ice hockey game. And it's NHL 2K6. And I had a little half an hour go on this uh, a little, a good while ago. Um, and I really liked it. It plays really well. Very enjoyable. And it's my first, I think, proper foray into ice hockey. Uh, that's probably why I called it ice skating, like a big girl. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. It was really good fun. So I was quite pleased with that. And for 49p, uh, it was definitely worth it. And I got this as well. This was 99p. Don't know why it weren't 49 but I got V-Rally uh, 3. Uh, I've got one and I've got two and I really like them so I'm really happy to now own V-Rally 3. And the last one I got was, um, it was, they're still doing 5 for 5 in there and of course they didn't have anything that I wanted for the 5 for 5 apart from this one kind of appealed to me and it's Robotech Invasion so I actually paid 1.99 for it and um, yeah it plays all right it's a you know robotech type of mechy type of shooty kind of thingy game honestly my brain's not functioning right now but um, yeah it plays okay <laughs> and the last thing I picked up and this was in my cash converters and um, I paid 4.99 for this and it's for the N64 and it's Jet Force Gemini and I don't mind paying 4 99 for this um, I really wish that they wouldn't stick their labels on the cardboard as they do as they've done with the Sega Saturn games that I've picked up from there because they're a real pain to get off um, but I just couldn't resist this it the box is in such nice condition really it's it, it's not that it's a little bit creased at the front the back is lovely uh, and when you open it it's got all the car it's got the cardboard insert and everything and the cartridge is lovely and it's got the manual as well so I thought you know what a steal 4.99 I mean I know this game doesn't go for that much I think you can pick it up for sort of seven seven or eight pound can't you have a v ebay but it's by rare which you know they used to be great uh, uh, you know they were great back then so um i was really pleased to get this um i haven't even put this in because i actually got this last week and it hasn't gone in yet to my n64 so i cannot comment and how it plays but it looks pretty good and I had a little peek on, on, on YouTube at some gameplay and it looks really nifty. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to getting into this and I am, I'm actually off, I'm, it's my weekend off this weekend coming so I definitely intend to do some gaming. Um, and that's about the size of it really, it's my, a bit of a random waffle about this, that and the other and lamenting poor me boo hoo head on me uh, about how I haven't got any time for gaming these days and and you know what's really bugging me and I'm really sorry as well um, I haven't had time to check out everybody's videos that I'm subscribed to and you know really forgive me anybody if you think course, oh, she's not been commenting on my videos recently I, I'm just so behind in looking at everyone's videos and I've had a little look at some here and there um, but I just haven't had a chance and it really bugs me because there's a few people I, I always watch religiously. I'm not going to say who they are because then other people go, oh, you've got favourites, have you? Uh, <laughs> so, but there are a few that I like to watch religiously and I haven't watched them religiously. So, um, I'm really that's really bugging me at the moment so the weekend is going to be also about catching up with some watching some youtube vids um and uh, gaming and that's about the size of it um that's all i've got to say now um hopefully i'll do another video 
a bit sooner than this but um, the way my life's going at the moment it probably won't be for another few weeks um, so it's goodbye from me <laughs> and it's goodbye from the little ginger whippet here Dexter isn't it thanks for watching <laughs>